Hey everybody, welcome back to the Geek XP. My name is Bran, and we are finally back for our next installment of The Walking Dead Season 2 Let's Play series. Uh, as you guys saw last time, my heart was broken when we were forced to kill Sam, our new best friend in the whole world. <sighs> it was emotionally devastating, but here we are, and let's get started. So we just got found after with the bite by these other survivors, Luke and I forget the other guy's name, but um, yeah, so they took us in, but they saw the bite, so now they're not sure what to do with us. What's my choices do? Did you try to save Krista? Yep. There's a way to not kill the dog? Oh, to leave it while it's dying. Okay, I was about to say, jeez. I'd be so mad if there was a way that you could just like leave the dog and he would like get the food, but you just like don't have to kill him, but dang. What is this? Ah! Oh, I'm so sorry. Go away. Okay. Play. Continue. Alright, here we go. Oh, nervous. Oh, okay, we've already we've already seen this. Poop. So what I'll do is I'll cut ahead to the part where we left off at the end of the last episode, so you guys don't have to see this. Okay, so we'll come back here. Sorry about that, guys. It's hard to know exactly where these games are going to load back in when you're at, like, a save point. Even though we had, like, a little autosave thing, it didn't register. It didn't load back up in there. So here we are, getting pushed back into the shed, and we can carry on. I really don't like Mr. Rifle, happy trigger finger guy. He's a real... He's a real douche, for lack of a better word. But okay, so we're in the shed, and we are concerned. Because it's safer this way, I'd rather be sure. Luke is definitely nicer <sighs> than douchey Mick Dingbutt. I can't believe butt. this. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. All right. So as per usual, I'm going to look at damn near everything. So we got an unfoldable table, we got a barrel, hammer, ooh, I like the sound of having a hammer, a life preserver, an anchor, tackle box, vise, and a pegboard. Um, I don't think I'm big enough to wield an anchor in the zombie apocalypse. Uh, as much as I would like to be able to wield that into battle, I don't think it's happening. So let's start with the pegboard. Where well, there were once tools, there are no more vice. All right, thanks, Clem. That was, I learned a lot. Tackle box, barrel. Let's grab the hammer, just in case something happens. You can do it. Oh, come on, Clementine. We are not quitters, and that was quitting. Ooh, unfold table, climb on top, get hammer. That's what I'm talking about. in a jar. Ow. Right on the arm. Oof. Okay. Well, let's lift this so we can get our hammer. Now that we've pretty much killed ourselves trying to get it. Oh, and they broke the glass. It's very dangerous. Now we got a hammer and a knife. Ooh, and I can like scroll through my items to do things with them. That's handy. Let's check out what's in this barrel. I click on the anchor, but I know Clementine can't. Imagine how epic that would be a guy who's strong enough, or lady, who's strong enough to like wield a, a ship anchor in the zombie apocalypse. That would be badass as hell. A life preserver. It will not preserve us or our lives if zombies attack. Is the anchor. That'd be awesome. There's a lot of things that she just kind of looks at. What's in the tackle box? There's a hole. There's a hole in the wall. Not much left in here. Although I don't know if I want to climb out. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. True that. But there is a, uh, there's a hole there. Um, I probably can't pull it. Pry it with the hammer. 
Yeah. Because I don't want to whack it, because I don't want them to know. But if I get out, will they, like, be like, oh, she's definitely infected or working for that... Ah, cute. She's working for that person that we mentioned before. E. Like a boss. Yeah, because I don't... Yeah, I can't wait around. I need to get my arm cleaned up. Let's get out of here. Nice. Convenient hole is convenient. Crawl through hole. And now the zombie shows up, bash it in the head with a hammer. Knife, not so good. Hammer, much better. Ooh, and now it's nighttime and it's raining. We have a doctor. He's gotta have stuff for stitches. If I can get my hands on some needles, we'll be in business. We've gotta be careful with the walkers, though. And I can, it looks like I can crawl, find a way into the cabin and obtain a needle, peroxide, and bandages. It's pretty safe in there. It'll be a good place to stitch up my well, and the arm. rain's washed the blood off me, so I don't look quite so ravaged. So I gotta sneak in. So we're like some Sly Cooper right now. I gotta go in. This is the heist, everyone. Bentley's got a plan. I've got a plan! Murray will make a distraction while Sly makes his way down the chimney to get the peroxide. Open window. Open screen door. Open window, front door, and window. Those windows, I can look through that one. Yeah, I'd like to scope out first. Bentley would suggest scoping it out first. And he knows what's up. He's good at planning. Oh, there are persons. Open window. What am I? Tap on window. Because that's, that's a good idea. I want to get their attention. Let's... Hopefully we can sneakily look through this window. Ah. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. Spat. What do you want me to do, Beth? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me a shit. Aww. I need some air. Relationships are hard when you're not in the zombie apocalypse. Ooh. He was sympathetic. I wonder if I tap on the window if I can get his help. I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. I don't like the idea of opening a window and not knowing what's in there. What if I open it and just like, oh, there's a person in there. Sorry. Let's see if there's anywhere else I can check out first. But we'll leave that as our as our top option. Window, screen door, window, what about the back side of the house? Any open windows? No. See, I really don't like the idea of opening a window and not knowing what's on the other side. Um, ooh, what is this? Secret entrance. See, this is why you have to check everything. And we've got a goddamn hammer. Okay, Clem, use hammer on the nails, Clem. There we go, full nail. Yeah. Although this would be bad if the zombies decide to show up later, like that guy. Fuck that guy, because if we get in trouble and they come through the hole, then one, we look bad, and two, we have a zombie in the house, and that's bad news bears. I mean, hopefully a zombie wouldn't see the hole and be like, oh, that is my access point into the house. Bentley's plan worked. Adjust glasses. House meeting in five minutes. Best. Let's do it. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. There's a spot. Trap door. Use hammer, push, use knife. Let's just try pushing. Hopefully this house meeting isn't happening above me. That would be bad. Uh, let's try the knife. I don't want to bang things and make noise if I can, like, ply something. Cute. Oh, 
son of a bitch. Crap. I mean, it's open now, but now I'm bereft of night, which is like stupid handy. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of it. See, there's so many things I'm wondering about, like, if I had gotten that guy's attention, could I have talked to him and get him on my side? Am I really just gonna open this door right now? I can't move. Nope. Okay. This is happening. YOLO! Okay. They're not having the meeting in this room, which would suck. I mean, if I saw that, I guess I could come in somewhere else, but... Listen, a kitchen door. Okay, so I have an exit. Let's check out what else we got in this room. Look at table. Got some books, playing cards. No electricity, so no big surprise there. Can I go past the table? No. Can I use the hammer on the kitchen door in a foolish attempt to intimidate them? And I can't go that way, so I guess I'm left with the single option of listening at the door. Dungeon Master, I listen at the door. I make a perception check. Could be, we don't know. She's connected Ooh. to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend they got attacked. Yeah, right. Screen's getting red. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. Okay, so you listen for a certain amount of time. Anyone else would do the same. Carver would come after us? You think he wouldn't? He's not exactly the type of it. Looked like Carlos is looking at me. They're talking about someone. Ooh, okay. We gotta bounce. We're still talking. Information is good. One more time. Huh? Leave her out there to die? Better her than us. Uh oh. You'd have done the same. It wasn't the brightest idea. Oh, well, firing your rifle was, huh? I don't like that I don't know where Carlos went. Because it looked like he glanced over. Uh, poop. Things are not sounding good in the uh, little family meeting. Can I like, cover that back up? I don't like leaving that exposed. Let's take a look at this window here. Now that they're at a, a meeting of sorts, we might be able to get in. No? That's the front door, and I think we saw where that was. Now, is this the window into the room where we were in? Oh, I can't open it at all. That probably would have been the case anyway. Can't open it. I'm gonna get real nervous if I have to go back and listen at the friggin' door again. Because I know someone's gonna see me and, like, Open the door and be like, what the hell is she doing outside the shed? Burp, burp, burp. Imagine. Come on. Uh. See, I don't like that guy hanging about. See, yeah, because it would make sense that they would have all the doors and windows closed, you know, to keep walkers out, like if one stumbled and somehow figured out Ow. how a door works. I think it's getting worse. Okay, so I can't keep punishing my hand like that. So I guess I'm going back in and listen at that door. Hopefully their conversation isn't over. And I can perhaps glean some more information, but like the screen gets all right if I listen for too long. So I presume that like if you listen too long, someone gets mad and like shoots you or something. Usually the red means death is imminent. So we'll try to avoid that. And we're back in here. Is it safe? Still rel relatively safe. So many air quotes. And we'll listen at the door again. Okay, I guess there's still a lot. 
dog? Yeah. Yeah, I know it sounds Probably crazy, backwards. but look, for whatever reason, I think she's telling the truth. Look, there's no point in arguing about it now. She's in the shed, she's not gonna hurt anyone. We'll just see what's what in the morning. So Luke's on my side. We kinda knew that. Definitely get a whole lot worse. Ooh. Don't we have penicillin? That got really red really fast. But this is like the only thing left I can do. I hate to metagame like that, but. We need to think of ourselves first. That's just the way it is. We can't just let her die. Not if there's something we can do. Yeah, it gets really red really fast after a while. Is there anything else I can do in this house? I really don't like the idea of them catching me snooping in on their conversation. What's down here? Okay, so we, there is other things we can do. Let's see what we got. Sounds like everyone's in that meeting. So we should be good to do a little bit of snooping. There's a poster of a duck. How exciting. Duck. That's that's right, Clem. Duck. Ooh. There's voices. Alright, let's move on to the next room, see what we can find. Anything useful now that we're bereft of knife. Not that I want to stab these people. Except for douchey McDinkbutt. He can I'll stab him. He tries to shoot me. Is that really the only door I can go through? See, I don't like being forced to listen at this door, because eventually they're going to catch me. And I'm just going to be in for it then. I'm going to try it again. Apologize for being assholes. We help fix she can't stay with us. We barely have enough supply to ourselves. We've got more fish in the traps than we could ever eat. Yeah, but she's seen us. She knows we're here. What? Are you scared of a little bit? They have lots of food, which is huge. But it doesn't sound like anyone who was unconvinced before I gotta take a Hold on. Let is convinced. I keep on unclicking it. They're talking about me knowing where... So they're paranoid about something. There's like another group. Seems like it's not as safe as it was. At least not like when we found this place. Maybe it's time to move on. We can't just keep running. At some point... We How red can I let it get? We should. And we will. Can we find somewhere safe? I mean, I'm getting plenty of information, but I don't feel like the game is moving forward anywhere. And I'm gonna try holding the whole time and see what happens. I'm guessing I'm gonna die, but I need to see... What's going on? We're not going back the way we came. That's for can't go back the way they came. We can came. probably find somewhere better. We just need to look. Wherever we go, we can't get too attacked. We'll be fine as long as we keep things fluid. Oh. Ooh. Why did he have to notice me? That's literally the worst. Of all the people to notice me, or notice the door, that's easily the worst. Are they talking anymore? I'm sorry if you guys are getting bored with this, because like I'm right like right now, I'm freaking out because I I don't want to get blown away by a douche. That's his name now. They're talking again. done here? I want to make sure Sarah's ready for bed. Wait a second. There's something else I want to talk about. Ooh. I hope you guys can't hear that. Phone's ringing. Okay, I can't interact with that anymore. So do I leave? If you guys can hear that, I apologize. I'll check this room one more time, but then I think I use the exit because I can't listen in anymore. Uh... Other guy is talking to them. 
the not Luke guy. He he was a nice guy. I don't I don't remember his name. I don't think there's anything else I can do in here. This looks like because this is the only one with open sh curtains, so this is where uh, the couple was talking. So one of them maybe like steps. Probably just the people who used to live here before the zombie apocalypse. Alright, so I think we exit now. We got a good bit of information by listening, like, literally a billion times. Okay, so now we're back outside in the rain. Do we make our way back to the shed? And we'll try that. I don't want to go open in the front door. It's probably locked anyway. No, because I need to get inside. Yeah. Ah, oh, I totally forgot what I was doing there. Yeah. I need to get inside, find the doctor's room, get the peroxide needles and stuff. Which, if they catch me, I'm totally screwed because then I'm stealing their medical supplies. Bite or not. I'm gonna go back down to that hole. I'm sorry this is taking me a while, guys. I'm, I'm really, like, meticulous when it comes to games like these. I like to try out all the avenues and see what all my options are and then make an informed decision. Um, see, but that's the only other room that we saw in there, so I guess I can... I guess I can try some of the other windows and hope that... Oh, I can try the screen door. I haven't tried this. Is it okay? I guess it doesn't work. All right. Okay, so those don't work. We'll try these windows, or at least this one. There's no way we can reach the other one. Okay, so it, it looks like going back down under the house again is our option. Yeah, because I'm not reaching that either. Yeah, so I've pretty much exhausted all my options now, and so I need to find doctor's room. Get medical supplies and go back to the shed and stitch myself up. There must be something I missed, and I apologize if you guys are getting sort of like bored with the whole like this process that I'm in, trying to find this stuff. But let's see if we can't expedite our progress here. Oh, seriously? That was it? Just turn right? That was dumb. Not the game being dumb, me being dumb. Sneaking up. Oh, those are creaky stairs. Maybe they think it's that Sarah person. Maybe she's missing, or like she's walking about because she wasn't in their little meeting. Bathroom door, bedroom door. Probably in the bathroom is where we'll find medical supplies. I mean, that seems like a decent place to put them, like in a medicine cabinet or something. Because probably that girl is going to be in like a room, like a bedroom. Every time you go in the bathroom, like going to go take a poop, check shower for murder first. Come on. Needle. Yes. Okay, now we're making progress. One needle. It's clean. One clean needle. Alright, so now we have... I'll still need some bandages. bandages, and it's something to keep it from and getting peroxide. infected. So we have to do ooh, linen closet. Nothing. Dang it. They have to have medical supplies around here somewhere. Right. So bathroom wasn't a bad place to start. Now that we finally. Hey everyone, this is Brand from the future. Unfortunately, this recording session, which usually lasts about like 25 to 30 minutes a piece goes on for more about like 60 without a real break so I'm cutting it here the rest will finish up in the fourth part of episode one Walking Dead season two um, I'm sorry for this weird sort of ending uh, but the you know from now on I'll make sure I can I'll stop it at a point even if we're not at a stopped controlled point pause it just so that the videos are more concise I don't want them to go on for too long uh, thank you guys so much for your support so far you've been awarded some geek XP and I'll see you all next time